G'day YouTube. This is the same solution. This is the sodium hydroxide. I haven't um, kept it out yet. But what you see here is that around the outsides here, it's uh, turned white. I think that's the uh, sodium um, hydroxide crystals um, evaporating away, I think. But anyway, so what I'm going to try is, I'm going to try dipping some old CDs and see if it'll eat away at the, um, eat this aluminium away or whatever it is. First I'll try and get underneath the skin and we'll give that a go. Not sure if I've got really any sodium hydroxide left in there because it might just all be up around these. And the wood that I tried to um, eat away earlier is still here, so won't eat wood away, I'll tell you that much. I'll scuff this one up. We'll try it again. Can't see it, it being affected. Can't see any little bubbles straight up anyway. Well, I'll let that sit in there until tomorrow and we'll have a look then. But I don't think it's gonna change. Well, have a look at this, boys and girls. I left these CDs in here overnight. And have a look. Look at that. One way to get rid of it, eh? It's worked better than what I thought. I didn't think it'd work at all. And the other one, if I can get a grip on it. And that's the other one. Just eating it away slowly. I 
I'll have to make a stronger solution. Hmm. Does the solution run out of juice if it's if we've um, put too much aluminium in there or what? I don't know. Still a bit to go on that one. Other than that, that's flawless. It's been a few hours since I've put the. Uh, the rest, of the, the rest of the sodium hydroxide into our container. We come to check on our progress. All right, so this one looks pretty clean to me. I would say that's complete. Just need to wash that off. Okay, the other one we had before. It's getting there. Leave that in longer and that should be all dissolved away. That's pretty cool. What I'll do is I'll go to the shops and I'll buy some more of sodium hydroxide and see if we can put some more CDs in there. Well, that's pretty cool. Almost like no work at all. There. We'll try putting some in there that are just um, without any um, pre-processing on the surface. See how that goes. But I think I will have to get some more sodium hydroxide. whether this outside crusty stuff will actually reform. I don't know. that in keep that in and we'll check that later get a in our concoction of liquid here we have probably about 10 or 12 CDs just basically getting them and just throwing them in okay so we have a few that are on the last last stages Some of these are just basically threw in probably about an hour ago. But anyway, it's all. But anyway, so basically, yeah, it works. And so far, I've got four, four CDs done. Basically, you just throw them in in the solution. These ones took me probably. About two days, two days to do, because it's just a slow etch on the um, on the CD. It just etches away the aluminium. But first of all, what it does is it it uh, loosens up the um, loosens up the print, so the print gets lifted off, 
then the um, then it starts to eat in from the outside, or sometimes it doesn't eat in from the outside. It just eats where it wants. All I had to do with these ones here is once it come out of the liquid, just basically had to wash it. Just went in and washed it in the sink, and there you go. Gave it a wipe with a paper towel, and presto, it's there. Anyway, with little or no effort, you can do the same. See ya.